I'm Johnny. Vote. I don't understand. Why wouldn't you vote? I don't know how. Okay. That's cool. I get it. It's really easy. Just go to elections.ca, fill out your information. They will hook you right up. But what do I do on voting day? That part is super easy too. On elections day, you go to your specified polling place. Again, on elections.ca. It's probably some kind of elementary school, maybe even a church. Go inside. Register to vote if you haven't already. Get your ballot, fill it out in private, and give it to the smiling man to put inside the box. In fact, I'm pretty sure he asks you to put it inside the box. Just to keep things fair. Nobody needs to know that you voted for the kinky mayonnaise party of Moose Jaw. But who do I even vote for? Okay. I, I don't know who you should vote for. But there's this great tool called the Vote Compass. And that will at least give you an idea of who you should vote for. If you want to be all civic minded, then you start with the vote compass and you start reading party platforms and before you know it, you're a political junkie. But the vote compass only takes a few minutes of your day and gives you a real strong idea of where your politics truly align. But does it even make a difference? Every vote makes a difference. And voting has this weird human network effect that the more people vote, the more other people see that people voted, which makes more people want to vote. Voting makes a difference in terms of how this country is run when it comes to things like criminal justice, our place in the world, and whether we are a country of peacekeepers or a country of aggressors, drug policy, health policy, even simple things like roads. Who you choose to elect can determine in a very direct way how well the roads are maintained. But none of the parties even represent me. In Edmonton in the year 2000, a whole bunch of people ate their ballots, which caused Elections Canada to seriously question whether or not they needed a way to count the protest vote. If you really feel like none of the parties, not the Liberals, not the Conservatives, not the NDP, not the Marxist-Leninists, not the Communists, not the Christian Heritage, not the Pirate Party, not the Marijuana Party, not even the Rhino Party, not even the Kinky Mayonnaise Party of Moose Jaw, can represent you in Parliament, then spoil your ballot. Or even better, talk to somebody at the polling station about how you can properly protest your vote. There may not be a way. If you take that step and talk to a human being, then it will make an impact. But the system is broken, man. Yes. Yes, it is. The system is broken. But it does not get fixed by sitting on your ass and making lame excuses. All it does is make it worse. Get informed and vote for a party that advocates proper electoral reform. But that old crusty funny guy says it doesn't even make a difference. Yeah, okay, that guy's good for a laugh and stuff. Yeah, seven words you can't say on television, but you can say on YouTube and television. But that routine might just be older than you are. Look, it's kind of bad right now. We all expect that our politicians are money-grubbing, thieving liars. There's that old joke, poly meaning many, and ticks, blood-sucking parasites. But don't you see a problem here? For politicians to be viewed as those guys that sit there and make all the money and all the rules while we do all the work is already a fundamentally broken system. Look, politics and especially this part of the political process, is nothing less than the direction that we choose to go as a nation, as a people, and as a culture. We need to expect more out of our politicians. We need to expect more out of our leaders. We need leaders that do things like build pyramids, commission great libraries and institutions, foster international cooperation between countries, put humans on the moon, that's the kind of leaders we need. Not leaders arguing about niqabs. Vote.
Because the more we tell politicians that we expect more from them, the more they will listen.